Hi everyone, welcome to the accumulation data analysis for 6th of June. Today was a very good day for the bulls, right? Especially the small and the mid caps, they were up almost 2 to 3%, right? Although the nifty was up like almost 1%, but the main action was in the broader market. So we'll see how the data was for today and also we'll look at how one needs to play this market henceforth. So let's get started. Let's go with the IndiaVix. So IndiaVix kind of dropped again 11% like I kind of mentioned yesterday because now that the event is out of the way, there is no real volatility that is going to come in because of which the India VIX is cooling and it is good for the bulls as well. Right? So people are kind of, uh, the news has kind of sunk in that NDA is forming the government probably the, over the weekend, the government would be formed and because of which the volatility has started to reduce. So it has come back to the support, the inverted head and shoulder breakout that it had around that 16 mark. So it is back at those levels, maybe a little bounce it can give, but nothing to really worry about. It should settle around these levels or go even lower in the coming days. Now looking at the FI DI activity here, what is happening is the FIIs are selling in the cash market. But if you look at their FNO positions, they are kind of reducing their shots and, uh, and they are on the positive side there, right? So even though they're uh, still quite short on the market, but the shots are reducing, which is a good thing. So e today's data is not out yet. Once it is out, probably I can be in a better position to uh, tell you about that. Maybe I'll tweet about it once the data is out for today. Now coming to the nifty analysis. So what did the nifty do the whole day? So today was the expiry. So today it did not do anything at all. So in the range of let's say 200 points, it just kept moving up, down, up, down, and then ended around that 20 to 800 odd levels. Right? So this is what the nifty did probably because it has to do with the expiry as well. And if you look at the daily candle, so the daily candle does not look that great. It is more of a spinning top that has been created. Spinning tops usually sometimes they kind of tell you that there is a reversal coming in, but need not be always. It is more like a 50-50. So probably if today's action had more to do with the expiry, then this is not really something to worry about. Tomorrow we should continue moving higher. But today's, uh, let's say the nifty drop that came in was because of the selling, then probably it is showing some reversal as well so the data what exactly is the data pointing at so the data has cooled off a bit right so because of this uh, it seems like maybe there is a possibility that it can be some kind of a top maybe a little pullback might happen in nifty before it again bounces back up so a little tricky here for the nifty one can't be really sure unless the uh, fi data kind of comes in fi di data i'll uh, tweet about that probably an hour or two later now coming to the best performing sector today was the real estate sector so the reality index was up almost close to five percent that is 4.69 right so yesterday if you look at the candle it was a hammer that was made and it kind of closed above the resistance around the 993 mark. So today it is up close to 5%. Most of the real estate stocks did really well. So chances are move, money is kind of moving there and you would want to uh, play those sectors or let's say the proxy names like I'd even previously mentioned, let's say the tile makers, the plywood guys, right? The wires and cables fellows. So those are the ones you would want to play there. Now coming to the bank nifty so the bank nifty here again it is more of a spinning top that has been made so not really sure about the bank nifty it is if you look draw a vertical uh, horizontal line as well it is near some kind of a resistance probably that is also playing out so bank nifty i would not be that bullish until we see what is there tomorrow what candle is formed tomorrow but bank nifty i would not be really that bullish right now coming to the mid cap analysis so the mid caps, if you look at the candle, there is a very small wick at the top. So that kind of tells us from the top, we kind of cooled off. That is probably even the large caps kind of came out. So some profit booking might have happened in the mid caps as well. That is the reason you are seeing a little wick on the top side. So this is about the price action. What is the data telling us? So the data is constant in the sense it is similar to what we saw yesterday. So nothing to really worry about 
when we look at the data because we have moved close to let's say two odd percent the data is still fine that means the big guys are still buying and pushing it higher now coming to the small and mid cap distribution data here it has started to cool off right so a cooling of distribution data tells us that not many stocks are being distributed and the accumulation remains at the same level so this is the whole small cap and the mid cap universe that i kind of take and then crunch in the data but there is one more uh, thing wherein i look at the small and mid caps which are fundamentally decent which i usually share only with the students so that data actually points at a improvement in accumulation which is not the case if you look if you looked at the mid cap accumulation right it showed flat whereas the uh, one sheet that i share with the students right that actually showed an improvement which tells us that money is actually moving into the names where fundamentals are also good right so those would be the stocks or sectors you would want to play in the coming days now coming to the small cap analysis so small caps again very good candle a very small wick at the top nothing really to worry about right maybe in a very small area the bull bears kind of pushed it lower but i would still say the uh, bulls kind of pushed it up 3.29 percent today after opening gap up so gap ups are very strong that kind of tells us that there is very strong buying that is happening and pushing the index or the stocks higher right so today with a gap up very good accumulation the stock moved uh, the index moved almost 3.29 percent and we closed almost near the day's high maybe some resistance might come in around that 17,000 levels right but that should be oh, i mean taken out because the data also looks fine so now coming to the small cap data a little cool off has happened See, like I told you, this is the universe of small cap that I kind of pull this data from, right? There you are seeing a little pullback in, or let's say, lower accumulation, overall accumulation. But like I said, the sheet that I follow where I look at only fundamentally sound names, that sheet is actually showing an improvement. What does that tell us? That tells us that probably fundamentally not so great stocks are being distributed and the ones where the fundamentals are good and probably even the big guys are buying you because the big guys do not risk their money or their clients money in fundamentally not so great quality stocks right so since that sheet that i follow is fundamentally great quality stocks the money is moving into those names that is kind of a uh, thing that says that accumulation is happening in fundamentally good names those are the places where you would want to be invested in as of now until the whole rally lasts so what i feel is for the coming uh, friday so tomorrow is friday so it should be a good day for the bulls nifty and bank nifty i'm not right sure maybe they might end flat or a little lower but broader market definitely has a lot of potential to move even higher hope this helps thank you